Romans 13. Well, Romans 13 from 11 to 13 uses the imagery of day and night to encourage us to see the world as the darkness, the night, and the kingdom of God as the eternal daytime. Paul says it is time for you to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer to us than when we first believed. The night is far spent and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armour of light. Let us behave decently as in the day, not in revelling and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in strife and jealousy. So the Christian life is so, so positive. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed. The day of Christ's return is getting nearer. We are closer to seeing him than when we first believed, than when we were first baptised. His coming then is likened to the dawn, and his kingdom, which he will establish, is like a glorious day which will never end. But we are to live... Paul says here, as if we are in the day, we are to live the kingdom life now. This is why Jesus invites us to accept eternal life right now. Although in this life we will die, we will be resurrected to eternal life, but we are to start living the eternal life right now. We are to live the kind of life which we will eternally live. Will we spend eternity arguing, jealous, getting drunk, going to parties, being sexually immoral? No. So we are not to live life like that now. Live as in the day, as in the day of the kingdom. We are to clothe ourselves in the things of the future kingdom, the things of the light, and to take off the things of darkness. For this world, the flesh, is darkness. And in the kingdom, quite simply, there shall be no night there. That's what you read in the final words of the Bible in the book of Revelation. So Paul says that the day of the kingdom and Christ's return is at hand. But Paul was writing a long time ago and Jesus didn't come in his lifetime. Did Paul get it wrong? No, I think rather he's repeating a theme that you find several times in the New Testament. To be a Christian involves living as if we expect Jesus to return at any moment. We are to live this kind of life, regardless of how we interpret Bible prophecies about world events. We are to live as if Jesus will return today. This really is the logical outcome of loving Jesus, because if we love him, we will want to see him. We'll be eager to meet him at the day of judgment.